back to my channel. Today I have another dump and go crock pot meals video for you. I uploaded one not too long ago and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I figured I would go ahead and make another one. And this is actually gonna be the start of a series on my channel this fall. As we get into the colder months, I absolutely love crock pot recipes. They're just so warm and cozy in the winter time. So I figured this would be the perfect time to start a new series. And this video is also a collab with my friend, Julia Pacheco. She is the sweetest. She is also sharing a crock pot meal video that I know you guys are going to love. And I do believe she is also starting her own series on her channel with a bunch of crock pot meals. So definitely go make sure you're subscribed to her if you are not already. She really is the sweetest and has amazing, amazing food content. And if you are coming over from Julia's channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Caitlin. I do tons of food content on this channel. I do what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, meal prep, all things food over here on this channel. So if that is something you are interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would definitely love to have you. But let's go ahead and get into all of these delicious crock pot meals. First up, I'm going to be making some shredded Mississippi chicken in the crock pot. This is a little bit different than what I normally do, but I am just starting off with spraying my crock pot with some olive oil. This is how I start all of my crock pot recipes. And then I'm just adding in my chicken. You can either use fresh or frozen, either works totally fine, but I'm using about four chicken breasts for this recipe. Next, I'm adding in my pepperoncini peppers. I would say add about five or six it's just gonna depend on the size and then you can also add a little splash of juice if you like for lots of extra flavor you're gonna want to add in one package of Aoju gravy mix you can just pick that up at the store and then I'm also adding in one packet of ranch seasoning mix and this is really gonna be all of the seasoning you need for this recipe for the butter I like to add about half a stick but a lot of people add a full stick so you do whatever you prefer and then I'm just going to cook this on high for about five to six hours halfway through I did decide to add in probably like half a cup of chicken broth. My chicken was drying out just a little bit so I would go ahead and add in some broth if you notice that your chicken is drying out. I would recommend doing that. This kept it really nice and moist this way and then once it was all done I just shredded it up with two forks. If you want it to be more finely shredded you can definitely use a hand mixer or you can throw it in your KitchenAid but I wanted mine a little bit chunkier since I was serving it over rice. Our whole family really enjoyed this Mississippi chicken. You can either serve it over rice, pasta, potatoes. Really, you can serve it any sort of way. You could even make a sandwich out of it. It's super versatile and delicious. Next up, I'm making some ranch pork chops in the crock pot, and this is actually going to be a full dinner, which I personally love. I'm just starting off by getting my sauce ready to go. Here I'm adding in about two cups of chicken broth right into a mixing bowl, and then I'm also adding in one can of cream of chicken soup. For seasonings, I'm keeping this super simple with just some garlic powder, some onion powder. I'm also adding in some salt and pepper to taste, as well as one packet of ranch seasoning mix. You can really play around with these seasonings and do what your family prefers, but I just wanted to keep it super nice and simple. Once I have all of this in my bowl, I'm just mixing it all up and it's ready to pour over the rest of my ingredients. So again, I'm just spraying my crock pot with a little bit of olive oil like I always do. Of course, you can use a liner if you prefer, but I always find that olive oil works just fine for me. And then I'm adding in my pork chops. Mine were pretty thick pork chops, which is why I love making them in the crock pot. I definitely prefer thicker pork chops in the crock pot, so that's what I would recommend. And then I'm adding in probably like four or five potatoes that are all cubed up and ready to go, along with some baby carrots, probably a couple cups of those and then I'm just going to take that sauce mixture that I'd already mixed up 
pour it right over the top and that is pretty much it. It's pretty simple to make. I cooked this on high for probably about five or six hours until the pork was fully cooked through. The potatoes were nice and tender along with the carrots. And then I just plated it all up. It was a super quick and easy weeknight dinner. Next up, I'm going to be making a cheesy hash brown casserole. This was super easy and delicious. I'm just starting off with my onion. So for this recipe, you're going to want one small onion. I would say you're gonna to want to use either a white onion or a yellow one, and you're gonna to wanna to cut this up pretty finely. Next time, I think I will actually microwave this onion for a couple minutes just to soften it a little bit more to make sure that it is fully cooked through. That's what I would recommend doing. And then for the sausage in this recipe, I would say you're gonna want about a pound. I just used some Polish sausage that we had in the freezer but you can totally use whatever you have on hand. But I would say you're gonna want right around a pound. Ours were four big pieces of sausage and I just cut this up into pieces. For the sauce in this recipe, I'm just adding in one can of cream of chicken soup right into my bowl. I'm also adding in about half a cup of regular sour cream, and then you're also going to want about half a cup of milk just to thin out the sauce a little bit. And then of course, go ahead and add in some salt and pepper to taste. I will say next time, I think I will add a little bit more salt and pepper. And then my personal take on it is to add a little bit of garlic powder. You guys know I just love of my garlic powder and I'm getting all of this mixed together to go right on top of the potatoes and the sausage. I'm just spraying my crock pot with a little bit of olive oil and then I'm adding in my potatoes. So for the potatoes in this recipe, you're going to want a 32 ounce bag of hash brown potatoes. I'm also adding in the sausage as well as the diced onion. And then you're also going to want to add about one and a half cups of cheese here to two cups I would say. Give all of this a good stir together before adding on the sauce. I just gradually added in this sauce mixture to make sure it was really well distributed. I felt like this was definitely the right amount of sauce for this amount of potatoes and sausage. It turned out super, super delicious. Highly recommend this recipe. Once you're done adding on all of the sauce, you are going to top it with some more cheese right on top because who doesn't love some good shredded cheese? Then you're going to cook this on high for about four hours. This turned out super delicious. It was definitely very easy to throw together and we all really enjoyed this recipe. For this next recipe, I'm going to be making some creamy venison steaks over rice. Super, super easy and delicious. I'm just starting off by heating up some olive oil in the pan, and then I'm adding in a couple stalks of celery that I had diced up and ready to go. I'm just adding on a little bit of salt and pepper. Normally, I would actually have an onion in here as well, but you guys know there was recently a recall, so I did not have an onion on this particular day because of the whole salmonella thing, so on this day, I just had to use some celery, but I definitely would recommend dicing up an onion as well and just sauteing those until they are nice and soft. You guys already know the drill by now. I'm just going to spray my crock pot with a little bit of olive oil before I get started. Here I'm adding in about two pounds of venison steaks. You can definitely use beef as well if you don't like venison. And then here I'm adding in the diced celery that I have sauteed and is nice and soft. Like I mentioned before, you would love to have an onion in here as well or some mushrooms. I'm also adding in a few big scoops of minced garlic as well as a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I normally would add about a tablespoon but I was running a little bit low so I probably didn't have this much on that night. 
And then I'm also adding in one can of cream of mushroom soup. For seasonings in this recipe, I'm keeping it super easy and simple with just a little bit of salt and pepper as well as some garlic powder and onion powder to taste. You guys know those are my go-to seasonings. You really can't go wrong with them, so they are my go-tos and I use them all the time. And then for the beef broth, I would say I added in about two cups of beef broth, but if you want it to be a little on the thicker side, go ahead and just stick with one and a half cups of beef broth, but I wanted lots of gravy on this night and then I'm just giving this a good mix together. For some extra creaminess, I'm just adding in about a third block of cream cheese. I did have it all cubed up and this is at room temperature. That's really important when you are putting cream cheese in the crock pot. Make sure it comes to room temperature first so it doesn't curdle. And then I just cooked this on high for about four hours until the steaks were all the way cooked through. Like I mentioned, you can definitely do the same thing with beef steaks and it turns out super delicious and creamy. I just served it with some sweet corn on the side and this was a really quick and easy dinner. On this next night I made a minestrone soup with some sausage just to make it a little bit more hearty. So I'm actually starting off with one of these Bear Creek minestrone soup mixes. You can get these at Walmart. I know Fleet Farm carries them. You can get them at most grocery stores. I had this in my pantry and I needed to use it up so I actually just dumped this out onto a plate and I went ahead and picked out all of the noodles because I didn't want those to slow cook because obviously they would have gotten super soggy in the crock pot. So I definitely would say pick out the noodles and set them aside. We will be adding them a little bit later on, but go ahead and get all of those picked out so they don't get soggy in the crock pot. Now that that is all done, I'm just moving over to my crock pot and spraying it with some olive oil. And then into here, I'm adding in one onion that is chopped and ready to go. I'm also adding in about two stalks of celery that's diced up, along with about one and a half cups of baby carrots. And then I did add in about two cups of zucchini. I did leave it on the bigger side so it didn't get too mushy. And then I added in about a pound of sausage. And then here is that soup mix. I'm just dumping all of that right on top and then I'm also adding in one can of diced tomatoes on top. I added in about nine cups of water. Since I had that soup mix that has the beef bouillon in it and I didn't need to add in any beef broth so I just stuck with about nine cups of water. Give this a good mix together and that is pretty much it. It's super simple, quick and easy to throw together. That's why I love using a soup starter kit like that. It just makes the whole process nice and simple. I ended up just cooking this on high for about four hours and then right before serving, I added in some noodles. So I added in the rest of the package and then I also added in about another half cup of noodles just because we like a lot of pasta in our soup just to really bulk it up and I just cooked it until the noodles were nice and tender and then here I just served it up super super delicious with a little bit of Italian bread on the side we really enjoyed this meal and it was actually pretty hearty for a soup recipe All right, friends, that is going to wrap up today's Dump and Go Crock-Pot Meals video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button if you have not already. I will be posting tons more Crock-Pot Meals this coming fall, so make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out on those. And don't forget to head over to Julia's channel and give her some love. She is also posting a Crock-Pot video, so go check her out and let her know that I sent you. But that is going to be it for for today's video. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care.